Hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because you won't want to miss out on all the new content I have every single week. Today I'm at Universal Studios Hollywood to check up on the park this week. So how about you and I dive right in. Over here at It's Sugar, no real visible progress from the last video, so it still looks like coming up with a solution to fix this outer facade. So we'll see what happens in the next couple weeks. Let's go ahead and move on. And Tejitos has seen some nice progress this week. You can see that they have taken the tarp off the top of the trellis and they've also revealed some coloring right here, new tiling for the outside dining area. So hopefully this opens up soon. I'm super excited to try this food out. Hopefully we'll get a shot of it. Uh, in the next couple weeks or so. Over here at the old element store, there's still no word on what this is gonna be. So I'll keep you guys updated as we know more information. Forgot the name of this store, but there's still no word on what this is gonna be either. But they did finish the paving and stair project. So this is gonna be open up, I'm sure, in the next couple days. It'll be nice, because they reprofiled the stairs to make them a little bit easier than they were before. All right, that's pretty much all the visible work going on in City Walks. How about we go inside the theme park? So yeah, it's cool to see Guy Diamond here in Hollywood. He's been in Orlando for a while, so it's really nice. Oh, that kid is not having it. He does not want to see Guy. Too scary. Yeah, and they built this beautiful little backdrop for him as well. It's really cool. They even have details on the sides of the trellis here and on the top. So this is really cool. It's a nice little meet and greet for the, for the trolls. They've, they've really needed to do this. Oh, and there he goes. Just Glitter farts. Isn't that cute? <laughs> wow. And what's cool is I did find out that the glitter is biodegradable. So since Universal always likes to try to be green, they thought of that as well. So that's really fantastic. And when you're done meeting all the trolls, you can definitely buy some troll merchandise. So how about we just do some quick window shopping with Dylan again and see how much some of these t-shirts are. Here's this particular one. And this is uh, $30. It's a little, a little on the pricey side for a tank top, but still looks really cool. This particular plush doll right here is $26.95, so that's cool. And we have some various like stickers and sunscreen kind of stuff, bags, other shirts, another plush. And of course we have these sipper cups. And it's perfect for home and on the go. And this particular cup is $9.95, so that's not that bad. All right, here's a current look at the Halloween Horror Nights construction. We're here in the Parisian Courtyard. This is for the Holidays in Hell Maze. And thanks for those that had commented on the last video, because I wasn't sure what the facade was for this, and you guys all said it was a postcard. So this is gonna look really cool when this is all done, and it's gonna look all nice and spooky as we approach the season. Just as a reference though, this is what it looked like just a few weeks ago. So you can see that the progress is moving along pretty nicely and at a normal pace compared to what they were doing last year up here. And here's a current look at the new Secret Life of Pets attraction opening up next year. You can see through the scrim that they uh, still have the same amount of progress as last week's video. You can see just they're working on the facade work for this new Baker Street. I don't know if it's going to be still be Baker Street or if it's going to be something else. Oh, hello, Marilyn. Um, or if this is going to be completely like redesigned to be the New York Street like in the movies. I don't know. We'll see. And then here's just a wider shot. You can see the new building all covered up. It's a really big show building for that attraction. So I'm excited to see the finished product. As you can see, it's another gorgeous day here at Universal Studios Hollywood. The June gloom is starting to dissipate a little bit earlier on in the day now. So that's fantastic. Look, you can see the tents. There's one of the spooky mazes. Studio tour only has a 20 minute wait. So that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and give it a ride. I'm thrilled when Universal invited me back to Skull Island. And it's great to have you along for the ride. Everybody get your 3D glasses ready. Make sure you got a good hold on all of your belongings. Okay, the told you that out here on the back lot, the world's around the corner at every turn. That is very true right now. We just left the old west. All right, so we just got off the studio tour and uh, the tram didn't go in the metro set area as much as I wanted it to check out the Halloween Horror Nights construction there. But uh, we did do the normal path and we did get a chance to see some other attractions being built, so that's really exciting. 
And also, uh, rumor is on the street that there's going to be a maze here in uh, near the tram loading area where the uh, trams get all their maintenance done. So there was a spot that was cleared out, a uh, pretty substantial spot that was cleared out. So a maze might go there. And uh, if it does, that'd be pretty neat. So it would be right here next to tram loading. So we'll see in the next couple of weeks once they start putting up more lumber and tents for the attractions coming this year for HHN. All right, so down here, we'll take a look at Jurassic World, all the work that's going on there for a potential opening soon, as well as the Nintendo project that's been rumored to be going next to the Transformers attraction. Before we head downstairs, here is a shot of the rumored Killer Clowns from Outer Space attraction. Again, we could tell that just by the front entrance facade. But over here in the back, it looks like they've put on the primer for the attraction, so that's cool. So what they'll move on to next is a lot of the fine details. They'll put stucco, concrete, joint compound, all that on the walls to make it look all nice and spooky. And then they'll move on to paint. And then we'll have a finished product as we get near September. I know some people worry about the black hallways and trust me, so do I, but uh, this is normal. This is just the primer on the walls until they add the paint. So if we get really close to an opening and they still have all the black walls, then obviously they'll stick with the black walls. But I think this is just the primer because they have it up in the front as well. All right, here's the latest look at the Jurassic World project. Uh, nothing much has changed since the last video. It looks like the attraction's pretty much done. They're just doing some uh, cycling through which is normal every single day. And uh, until we get an official opening announcement, we still haven't received anything yet. Uh, Universal hasn't announced uh, soft openings or an official date. So everything's up in the air until they say something. Again, I would keep an eye on their social media, uh, their Twitter, their Instagram, and their Facebook because that's pretty much the only way we're gonna find out when this ride officially opens. You can see they're still testing with water dummies, so. Either they have a couple more days or a couple more weeks of testing left to go. The new bar is proving to be really popular. It's always uh, people waiting to get a drink, so this is really nice. This is a welcome addition to the lower lot, too, for those wanting to get a frozen cocktail, because the park needed those, especially for the summer. Since I didn't get a chance to look at the interior of this in the last video, I might as well go in here and show you all what this looks like. And it looks very clean and modernized. The new color scheme is all over the place. They have these cool little murals on the sides. Those look nice. And it looks like it's gonna be cafeteria style, like most uh, theme parks, just grab and go. Here's the pomegranate guacamole. That looks really good. Very delicious. Very delicious. Ooh, they got some wraps right here. They have a fruit salad. They have some new cakes. Those look really good. Good area. Some rice, chicken. All looks really good. There's your pricing right there. So $13.99 for the chicken salad, $15.99 for the roasted red snapper, $13.99 for the burger, and then we got $14.99 for the pork, and uh, $15.99 for the chicken. The staircase that used to be over here has now been taken out. So the whole entire walkway to the restrooms is now nice and open. That's really cool. Alrighty, here is a current look at the project next to Transformers. You can see still working on a lot of foundation and overall this entire space has a ton of it. Just kind of zooming in here. Here's the biggest section of foundation and it goes deep. Uh, I know uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, some construction workers were pretty deep down inside that. So it looks like a lot of infrastructure continues here in the lower lot for this new addition, which the lower lot desperately needs. And then just for reference, this is what it looked like just a couple weeks ago. So you can tell that they have made some significant progress just on a lot of the concrete work, which is the hardest part. You know, this just looks like a complete knot and labyrinth of concrete and rebar and electrical going in for this huge show building that's going to be here. So super excited to uh, get some more details on this particular project as the months and years continue and closer to hopefully an opening in maybe 2021 or 2022. That's what uh, everyone's leaning towards. And of course the Transformers extended queue is moving along nicely. Just putting the finishing t uh, details on the structure itself. So you can see a lot of the speakers are uh, on the tops of the railings there. They have the lighting on, so that is all complete. So now all I have to do is just finish the railing and you can see the particular gentleman down here is painting the railing. So 
So far so good, should be open within the next couple weeks. I've got a couple questions on if they still uh, sell the Jurassic Park merchandise and not just the Jurassic World. And the answer is yes, they still do. So they still have the old school t-shirts, they have little sweaters and hats, they have mugs. And uh, yeah, so they still have all the original Jurassic Park stuff. So you don't just have to get the new Jurassic World merchandise. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this week's look at Universal Studios Hollywood. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because you won't wanna miss out on all the new updates I have every single week. Other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.